Hey everyone, here we are back out in the shop. I'm gonna be finishing up these blades that I forged in my last video. I'm also gonna be putting handles on them and making leather sheaths for them. So let's get to it. Before I was so rudely interrupted by the air compressor, I've got these knives pretty much ground and finished. Uh, they don't have edges on them, but before I move forward, I want to do a little bit of a strength test and bash them into a 2x6 and just make sure that the edge doesn't roll over, obviously that the knives don't, the blades don't break. Uh, but I just want to do a little bit of testing now, gives me a little bit of peace of mind that when I send knives out there in the world, I know they're not going to break on the user and that there wasn't anything wrong with my heat treat and temper process. So I'm gonna get to that now. Well, that was an adventure. I've probably made eight or 10 different handle scales, playing around with different designs. The first set I made out of ironwood. I didn't really like the curvature, the way that it looked on the blade when it was all fitted up. The wood looks great, but the overall look just didn't seem right. So I played around with some different designs. I finally settled on a walnut and a white paper liner. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this look, so I'm gonna get these glued up. I've got them all set up. I've got them all cleaned with acetone. So I'm gonna actually epoxy up the handle now. Roman Pugios. They've got walnut handles with white paper liners 
and I put three coats of Odie's oil finish on them. I'm gonna sharpen them and then give them a little cut test. <laughs> We got these all sharpened up. I'm going to give it a little bit of a cut test and hack through this two by four and make sure I don't get any edge rolling or anything like that. Um, in which case I might need to kind of reprofile my, my sharpening. So I'm gonna bust through this and hopefully we don't see any, any kind of glinting or damage to the edge. There is nothing on here. Blade looks just like it did when I started. Still feels nice and sharp. Yeah, I mean it feels like it'll it picks up skin just as soon as I touch it. Sweet, looking good on that one. All right, I got the other blade. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Same two by four, just a different section. There we go. I wanted to get all the way through on that one. Once you get to the bottom, this uh, construction lumber kind of splinters and then it kind of just gets springy and kind of hard to get through the bottom of it if you don't have it in like a, like a vise or something where it can snap off. I don't see any change to the blade whatsoever. I mean, you really can't even tell that it cut anything. I mean, there's a little bit of like debris stuff on the blade, but the edge is perfectly normal just like when it started. Not the cleanest cut, definitely some drag on it, but I mean, with as thick as these blades are, you know, I think that's probably pretty good. You know, it's not like a, a chef's knife or something where you've got like a super thin blade or like a fillet knife where you're, you're coming down to this thing. It's pretty easy to pass through this. All right, now that I've got both of these knives tested, I'm gonna to have to clean up the finish on them and resharpen and strop them so that they are pristine for the user when they take them out of the box for the first time. So that's gonna wrap up this video. 
In my next video, I'll be making leather sheaths for both of these. If you are interested in having a knife made, you can reach out through the contact form on my website, davidmoonforge.com, or you can send me a direct message on Instagram, at davidmoonforge. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, I will see you in the next build. Thank you.